Yoga Mayam and to Yoga Maya, the spiritual potency of Krishna, Samadhi Sat, order as follows. To protect the Yadus, his personal devotees, whom comes as a tax, the person of Godhead, Vishvatma, the supreme soul of everyone, ordered Yoga Maya as follows. translation mice anyone can translate from English into French I can't try. Is he's cutting up on the trouble but the reality is he's cutting up vegetables and that might be a little difficult to organize right. anyone, on the, men, about. anyone yeah. on the men's side can translate the words Bhagavan Apivishvatma Viditvan Kama Sadam Bayam are commented upon by Srila Sanatan Goswami. Bayam Svayam is Krishna. Krishna is Dubalavan Svayam. As it says in Srimad Bhagavatam 1328. He is Vishvatma, the original super soul of everyone, because his plenary portion expands as the super soul. It is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 13.3. Kshetra Gyam Chapimam Vidi Sarva Kshetri Supatata. Lord Krishna is the Kshetra Gya, or the super soul of all living entities. He is the original source of all expansions of the personality of Godhead. The hundreds and thousands of plenary expansions of visions such as Shankar, Shantra, Dumna, Ayurveda, and Vasudeva. But here in this material world, the Vishwatma is the super soul of all living entities is Kshetra Vishnu. As stated in Bhagavad Gita 1861, Isvara Sarva Bhutanam Supreme Lord is situated in the heart of all living entities of Arjuna. Krishna is actually Vishvatma by his plenary expansion as Vishnu Tattva, yet because of his affection for his devotees, he acts as super soul to give some direction. Savasya Chamridi Sandra Vishnu, Mata Smiti Yadganam Abhuram Shabhagavad Gita 1550. The affairs of the super soul pertain to Kriya Dakasha Vishnu. But Krishna took compassion on Devaki, his devotee, because he understood their fear of Kamsa's persecution. Pure devotee is always fearful of material existence. No one knows what will happen next. No one may have to change his body at every moment, Tatari and Raprapti. Knowing this fact, a pure devotee acts in such a way that he will not have his life spoiled by being obliged to accept another body and undergo the tribulations of which he exists. This is Bayam of fear. Bayam Divya Bilibhita Asyat. This fear is due to material existence. Properly speaking, everyone should always be alert and fearful of material existence. But although everyone is prone to be affected by the ignorance of material existence, Supreme Personality of God like Krishna is always alert to the protection of his devotees. Krishna is so kind and affectionate towards his devotees and he helps them by giving them intelligence by which to exist in the material world, by which to exist in the material world without forgetting him even for a moment. That's this. Tesham Ivonikapa Tamahama Gyana Dhamtamaha Nasayami Abba Baba Stugyana Dipena Basuta. Out of compassion for them, I dwelling in their heart destroyed in the shining lamp of knowledge, the darkness born of ignorance. The word yoga means link. Any system of yoga is an attempt to connect. We connect our broken relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The different types of yoga of which bhakti is the best. In other yoga system, one must undergo various processes before attaining perfection, but bhakti is direct. The Lord says, therefore, in Bhagavad Gita, Yogi Namapi Sarvesha Matkasananta Dhatmana, Shradavan Bhadrati Yumam Sami Yogtata Umadaha. Of all yogis, he who always abides with me, this great faith, worshiping me and transcendent loving servant, is most intimately united with me in yoga and is the highest of all. For the Bhakti Yogi, a human body is guaranteed in his next existence, as stated by Lord Krishna, Sutra Srimatam Gehe, Yoga Vrashta Vijayati. Yoga Maya is the spirit of the Lord, out of affection was the Holy, the Lord always stays in spirit and touches him. Although otherwise his Maya potency is so strong that she could witness even exalted demigods like Brahma. Therefore, the Lord's potency is called Yoga Maya. Since the Lord is Vishwatma, he merely ordered Yoga Maya to give protection to the Vakim. 
You cannot see anything without the day, without Krishna. You cannot hear anything without Krishna. You cannot touch anything without Krishna. You cannot make even a movement without Krishna. The, to- the control of the Supreme Personality of Godhead over material nature and all living entities is absolute. It's just uh, uh, incredible absolute. You know, there's nothing, whatever happens, just like, for example, uh, somebody may, you have something, somebody steals it. You create something, somebody destroys it. You uh, build something and somebody uh, takes it away from you. And we should understand that in, in the ultimate analysis, it is not between you and them at all. It is between you and Krishna. It always has been and it always is at every moment. It always will be. Uh, the people who harm you are just the instrument of your own karma, like Prabhupada explained. That is the instrument that you needed to suffer a particular kind of thing due to your karma, as simple as that. And uh, uh, so it comes back to you under the control of the Lord. It says clearly in, uh, in Bhagavad Gita, what is it, Bhagavatam, that, uh, what, what is it, that verse, uh, uh, under my control, that verse, famous verse, under my control, somebody suffers it. The, the, the living entity suffers its karmic reactions. Kamana Deva Nechena. Kamana Deva Nechena, that is the verse. And under my control, a living entity suffers his karma. So he's completely, Krishna is involved in like anything. And even the demigods, uh, the demons cannot suffer more than they are supposed to suffer. Everybody creates his own destiny. Everybody creates his own future. Everybody ca- creates his own happiness and distress. And uh, 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 this we have to understand, and Krishna consciousness, we clearly have an understanding of this. Whereas in the Kami world, even when people go to church, they have no idea, they're completely in darkness. They uh, uh, don't understand that everything is in like God's control, although they may say so, but the, uh, the ramifications of it, how deep this, that actually goes, uh, people have no idea because they don't know that Ishvara Sarva Bhutana Vridesi Arjuna Tishtati in the teeth. Brahma Yan Sarva Bhutani, there it is, he moves everyone. Brahma Yan Sarva Bhutani, he moves everyone, all living entities, whether it's a cat, whether it's a dog, a horse, or you or me. Everybody, or the Prime Minister of Prime Minister Mori, Mori of India. So everything is completely under God's control. Somebody may say we have no freedom. No, that's not true. We have a freedom, we have some partial freedom, we can decide, you know, which way we want to go, but then karma comes in, uh, <laughs> five factors, factors that uh, constitute action, and uh, the super soul is one of them, and karma is another one, and the living energy is another one. So we have a very, how do you say, defined understanding of soul. That I've not encountered, you can go to any religious uh, uh, configuration, I, I happen to study compared to religion at one time, you cannot find such sublime understanding of God's being involved in the material world in every single deed, even when it comes to the point of scratching the head. And people in general, they think God is in the sky with the angels. There's a French uh, song where a singer sings, Who qui cherche le bon Dieu dans les nuages, vous ne verrez jamais son visage. That's true, because God is, is in the sky, but it is not lo- a localized place. He's everywhere. Even the Adam, uh, what is it? Antarasta, Paramanu, Chantarastam, even the atom is Krishna. I remember <laughs> it was a funny situation that um, there was a world uh, festival of the pioneers. That means the Russian uh, youth, the Russian youth in communism. And uh, uh, have you ever been a pioneer? No. And, and so uh, they opened the, the, the wall in Berlin. We had not, we're living on the other side of the wall and saw in the papers, my God, the, the wall is open. Everybody is welcome. So we went over there, she and myself. And so uh, in our daughters, and people had never seen something like that. And we stood under this, on the Alexander Place, this, uh, this uh, universal cl- clock, a huge thing. We stood right under it, the central point of, of, of uh, life in, one of the central points of life in East Germany. And so we were preaching from, from 9 o'clock in the morning all the way up to 10 o'clock. And, 
<laughs> and so the, thousands of people get that. They thought we came from the moon or something. They had never seen anything like that. Can you imagine? In, in East Communism, in Eastern Communism, it was called Soviet Union time. And so then at least some, some functionaries came from the, uh, from the political party and started poke, trying to poke holes into our argument. And somebody said, you say that matter is dead unless it's touched by spirit. Yeah, are you saying that? I said, yes. He said, what about, what about the atom? In the atom, there is uh, 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 no. What about material nature? What about uh, you explain to me? And I said, even the atom is God. He said, how is that? He said, well, you see the proton and the electrons. They circumambulate the neutron according to atomic science. That motion is not possible without the super soul. The same way the planets are circumambulating on the on the cosmic level in a strict control of this of the supreme personality of God. Ultimate and the Balaram's control. Prabhupada said even that gravity, the law of gravity, the law of attraction, is uh, manifested in the material world as, as the law of gravity. According to his as unto me, I reveal my reward, him, Krishna says. So there is some, some, uh, some process described. The more I turn to Krishna, the more he attracts me. So in the same way, uh, the, le the far, far I go from the earth planet, the, the less the earth planet has attraction, and I fall into the gravity of some other planet, like the moon, for example. So even uh, such a thing like the law of gravity, which is a completely mechanistic explanation of uh, the, the transcendental fact, is just Lord Balaram, that's all. The power of Lord Balaram, they don't see that. They see only the external phenomena. They cannot understand uh, the, the spiritual truth of it, the actual Siddhanta. They don't have a Siddhanta. They don't understand the super soul. They don't understand how the Lord is interacting with the material world. They don't understand how I, you, he, it, and whoever actually interferes, interacts with the material world or God. They don't understand this. There's no understanding. They can't even understand, uh, give a simple answer to the question that in India every rickshawala can tell you that when a child dies, uh, it is come. Everyone in India knows, you ask the priest, I asked my priest when my brother died, why did he die? He suffered like a dog. Where's God and all that? He said, I know. I know. Why does he know? Because there's no defined understanding of soul. Amramazmi. It's not in the Abrahamic religion, whether it's Jewish religion, Christian religion, or Muslim religion. There's no defined understanding of the nature of the soul. They don't understand soul. They all think the soul has been created by the Father in the time of conception. They all agree, agree to that. And if you do believe in the pre-existence of the soul, at least in the Catholic Church, the dogma or religious construct, you go to hell. It means Krishna and Lord Chaitanya and Vedavyasa and we all know go to hell according to that theory, which is uh, ridiculous. But that's the teaching, actually. That whoever believes, uh, what was it? Uh, Concert of, of, of Constantinople, 530 AD. Whoever believes in the previous existence of the soul, he is doomed to hell. Previous existence? Huh? Prior to this lifetime? Yeah. Prior to this lifetime? This is condemned, you know? And, and uh, uh, so, how did they get to that idea? Majority vote. Somebody had, a, had an idea and they voted on it by the democratic process, like uh, 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 <laughs> whether there's a pre-existence of the soul or not, they try to establish the truth. But the truth is the truth. The truth is truth. So you can, human mind has no, uh, or human being has no capacity by itself to understand what is truth unless he hears from the Guru Shastra Sat. This is how we hear, Guru Shastra and Sadhu. That's the way how we can understand something so complicated and so subtle, like the nature of the soul, in no other way. And so they don't have that. And therefore they're in darkness. That's why we pray, Save me from this darkness. Uh, come to the light. What is this? Jyotim, Gamma, uh, that Vedic aphorism. Come out of the darkness into the light? Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, Jyoti, Gamma, something. <laughs> Don't stay in darkness, come to the light. That is actually the, the, the how do you say, the, the challenge of the soul in the material world. 
to understand his uh, p position as a soul and what that practically means. What is a, what is a soul and second, what is the business of the soul? The Lord Chaitanya is very clear about it. Nidya Ziva Nitya Das. And the soul is an eternal servant, a servant of Krishna. Servant. And everybody has to, is doing that either directly or indirectly. Either you serve God directly in devotional service or you serve God's material nature. Uh, ultimately, you serve the devil. Uh, who was that singer? Bob Dylan. Uh, uh, if you don't, you, you have to serve God, and if you don't want to serve God, you have to serve the devil <laughs> because everybody has to serve somebody. That's the point. Either you serve the Lord or you serve the devil because everybody has to serve somebody. So service is something like Prabhupada describes, you cannot separate from the soul. It's, a, it's like water without liquidity, in the same way soul without service is, is an inconceivable, is a, is a material concept. The soul's nature is to serve, and if you don't want to serve Krishna, well then you have to serve your, 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 the government, the state, uh, you have to go to war like many, even nowadays I heard devotees think like this, that we have to go to this war to serve the state. I mean, we are not in the battle of Kukshetra here. <laughs> you know, that is a different context. We are here in a world where the demons are struggling with each other, and we, we should not get involved in this at all. And we should not put ourselves in harm's way, because our life is very valuable. As long as we live and breathe, we can preach, and we can do something for the world, something substantial for the world. So um, we should understand that uh, this is very beautifully explained in all the scriptures, how the soul is connected with God, what is the relationship. I mean, the very word, word religion, anybody knows what that means in, in Latin, religare? Re means again, like reunion, re, legi, legare. Legare means to connect. And real legara means to reconnect, which in itself, if you study the word, gives uh, uh, us clarity that we have been connected. It implies that we have been connected with God before. Otherwise, why should there be a reunion if you never met these people? Why couldn't there be a religion if you never have been in the spiritual world? This is very, it's so simple. Even such a word uh, has deep meaning if you uh, understand how to. How to, uh, how to, if you know the purport to it. What is the purport, I said. What is the purport? No, not a blade of grass moves without a sanction. I mean, I've heard this since childhood from my, from my parents, you know. And uh, uh, God helps those who help themselves and uh, a whole pretoria of different <laughs> sayings that actually are quite deep, but they're not understood. People don't know how to use them. You know, that... Uh, uh, Der Mensch denkt, the human being, der Mensch denkt, God lenkt. The human being is thinking, but God is directing. Der Mensch denkt, God lenkt. It's a German saying. My father quoted it hundreds and thousands of times. Der Mensch denkt, God lenkt. You know, he is actually the controller. Ishwara, Sarva Bhutanam, Ridi, Sarjuna, Tishtati. The controller of all living beings. Ishvara Sarva, he is in the heart of everyone. Brahma Yan Sarva Bhutani, and he moves everyone. Yantra Rudhani Maya, of those who live on a machine, Yantra, the body is a machine, which is not under our control. <laughs> it's under the control of Krishna. You know, and you cannot even lift your spectacles like you right now do without uh, the super soul helping you. And so everything is ultimately going under the control of the super soul. You know, whatever uh, human being comes up with, the cows are grazing in the field, you know. How do they know that here is this part of the uh, meadow is better than that part? How do they know? They're directed by the super soul. <coughs> Yesterday I was eating prasadam, and uh, I, I think it was his devotee here. Uh, he gave me some sweet, and some sweet uh, fell on the ground. He wanted to pick it up, he said, leave it, Krishna will send somebody, some ant will come, 100%, because Krishna feeds everybody. You know, even the ants, even the whatever, living entities are directed by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And uh, uh, there are stories in this regard, in my own experience, that one time, Srila Prabhupada, um, I thought about this incident a lot, he called us through his secretary, I think it was Shama 
It, it was a um, book fair in, 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 in Yugoslavia, in Belgrade, which is a communist country at that time. And so he said you should get an invitation, Prabhupada said you should get an invitation as Bhaktivedanta Book Trust and bring books there. So we went there. The whole Mercedes van full of books, 5,000 issue Upanishads. And so we came to the border and the man looked in the back, the custom officer, you can't bring this book. What are you thinking? This is a communist country, you can't bring these books. I said, please, let us bring the books. I give you some money, come on. He said, I can't do that. If I find out, I lose my job. He said, impossible, you can't bring the books. And so we were very upset. But actually, this was a super sort of arrangement. Because Krishna had arranged something at the same time in a completely different way. So we came, I decided, or I decided, quote unquote, the super soul gave me the idea to go to another border, border crossing, about 100 kilometers more uh, on the outer put to uh, Belgrade. And so we went there, and all of a sudden, uh, Chakravarti and myself, we said to each other, I'm hungry. He said, what about yourself? He was hungry. How, could, how does come? He had the same idea to eat something. It's a super soul. So he went and said, go, maybe we have some chapatis to eat. He needed to have chapatis, chapatis in the back. Our windows were open, and then a dog. Dogs have a fantastic, they have a huge smell. You know, ability to smell, that's why it's this enormous nose. I mean, could you imagine you have such a big nose in your face, like a dog, this much, you know? The dog smelled it, super sore. And he brought him right there, and the dog looked, you know how the dog looks if he wants something from you. He, you know, he sat there, and I saw it, I saw him in Chapati. <laughs> he ate it. I said, hey, take the guy likes Chapati, I threw him another one. He ate another one. I said, Chakrabarti, I have an idea. Krishna, super soul, gave me an idea. You see, he brought the dog, and I got the idea. I said, I took a chapati and waved the dog to the window, and he came and jumped up. And as soon as he jumped up, I pulled him by the front feet into the car, mm. put him in the middle, and Chakravati peeled the door, let's go to the border. The border was just 50 yards. So we drove to the border, and we had this huge argument with the custom officer over this dog. You can't bring this dog. He said, it's my wife. He said, maybe your wife, but you can't bring this dog. He has to go in front. He, please let us go. Please allow us. Uh, I argued with him back and forth. You know, it was an uh, intense exchange. And then I said, and if I let the, kick the dog out of my car, I can go? He said, yes. I kicked the car out of the, car, out of the dog out of the car, and we drove over his five thousand books. Because Krishna did not allow the custom officer to do what he was doing all day to look into the back of the cars. It was all under Krishna's control. Every instant of this whole, we talked about it many times, every single thing was planned by Krishna, how to get these books. Because if you do, if you try to do your best, namely, to bring these books into a common account, then Krishna will do the rest. It's not that we have to do everything. Krishna helps us. Prabhupada was helped in so many ways. <coughs> You know, like some Shunda asked Prabhupada, and Prabhupada was living in a straw hut in Mayapur in the beginning. And Prabhupada was talking about that he wanted to build a huge temple, a planetarium temple, a Vedic planetarium. And Shama Shunda said to Prabhupada, but Prabhupada, we have no money. We can hardly pay for the subject today. And Prabhupada said, money will come. And so uh, Shama Shunda said, how is that going to happen? He said, it's very simple. He said, you just our Madhava. He said, he's the goddess of fortune. He's the husband of the goddess of fortune. So if you please Madhava, the goddess of fortune will give you all the money in the world. And this, how, this is a technology Prabhupada used in his life. Instead of going out and making a lot of money, he was just pleasing Madhava. He pleased the Supreme Personality of And then Krishna, he helps. There was a, uh, an incident at Sashmukmash, I think. Yeah, he was a temple president in 1968, I think, in Boston. Maybe one year plus minus. And uh, so they were running, the boys were running out of money. He was a temple president. And so he said, let's use all the money we have left and buy flowers and decorate the altar very beautifully. And then Krishna has to take care of us. And so Prabhupada heard about it, so he called. And he said, what's the, what's the idea? I heard you have no money, but you spent so much money on the flowers. He said, well, 
Srila Prabhupada, we saw that uh, we just give everything to Krishna and then Krishna will help us. And Prabhupada said, the idea to depend on Krishna is very nice, but you have to do the work and then Krishna will help you. Very simple. We have to do the work. God helps those who help themselves. We have to do the work, then Krishna will help. And Prabhupada did the work. I mean, he was out there early in the morning, uh, one o'clock, starting uh, to translate. He worked like anything. So the whole life is, uh, is work to establish the High Krishna movement uh, in Vrindavan under the most difficult circumstances. He was living, uh, who was it? Uh, Gupta told me. Uh, Narutan Gupta was Prabhupada's doctor at one stage. He told me that he heard that two God brothers came to Prabhupada when he was having high fever in Radha Damodha, lying on, the, on, the, on a little straw mat in the Radha Damodha temple. And uh, uh, they told him that if you don't get a bed, you die. This is high fever. And Prabhupada said, I won't die. He said, but I want to use every paisa for book distribution. Think about that. I mean, such a dedication, such a unbelievable dedication and uh, surrender to Krishna, you know, that he, he was convinced I'm not going to die. It's one thing, how does he know? You know, he was confident, I'm protected by Krishna. And, but I will use every penny for Krishna. Just see how Srila Prabhupada worked, right? He was always to please Krishna. And from that, we see even this temple, there's so much book distribution, or there's high nam. Uh, the temple is, uh, is coming up more and more and more and more. Keep going. This is uh, the secret. You know, that uh, we just have to turn to Krishna and be serious about our spiritual life, and then everything will come. According he said to me, I reward him. That's the technology. You know, you surrender, I'm John Salva Prabhupada, you surrender unto me, and I will protect you. So the whole thing really is cooperation between the living entity uh, and the Supreme Lord. It's cooperation. Like this, what is this Mayavari uh, uh, daughter of a fisherman in Kerala? Ama, Ama. She's uh, supposed to be an incarnation of Matsya. And the people sing in, in, in huge crowds, Ama, take me away, will you carry me? Let me rest in the sweetness of your, your smile. This is not how we, how we act, not to take me away, Krishna. We have to do something. He will take us away if we do the work. <laughs> like Prabhupada said, first you do the work, then Krishna will help you. So it's not a matter of just Ama waiting for God coming to us uh, to pick me up. Who's, who's the servant here? We can't do that God or this our servant. We have to do something, and then Krishna will reciprocate to that. Like Arjuna, first he had to surrender to Krishna, then he was able to do all that in Krishna's presence. So that is the whole idea that uh, there's an intimate connection with Krishna and the devotee, all living entities actually, and we have to understand how to do things in spiritual life. It's all based on pleasing Krishna. That's what it is. Prabhupada was the expert in pleasing Krishna. I mean, how did he do all this? Otherwise, you know, by the fruit you tell the tree. By the fruit you tell the tree. By the fruit you tell the tree. Millions of people are coming by his mercy to uh, 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 Mayapur. All over the world, people are chanting out Krishna by Prabhupada's mercy. Because he dedicated his life to Krishna, and then Krishna organized all the angas, whatever was necessary for him to do things. So we should understand that the super soul is everywhere. It is by the mercy of the super soul that we can do good things, but also bad things. Because if we are negative, if we are uh, sinful, Krishna makes arrangements as well. You know, he doesn't discriminate. It's you, the living entity, who actually uh, uh, makes the decision. In which way you want to go? You want to go to the darkness, you want to go to light. Krishna doesn't interfere in our uh, relationship to him because uh, uh, love is voluntary. You know, it's not that you, uh, he holds the gun to the, our head and said, love me. 
You know, you can force a person to love you. It's not like that. Love is choice. You will love a particular girl because there's so many others, but this girl you love. But you have a choice. So love is choice, you know. And love is voluntary. So Krishna wants to see that you do something for him. And out of this uh, activity of doing something, when we, we fall more and more become more purified, and due to purification, we develop a, a, a loving relationship. Love grows. Baba said, like a mother, uh, she takes care of the child because she loves the child. But the child doesn't have uh, to ask the mother this or that when he's incapable to go to the toilet. He just cries and the mother arranges everything. So in the same way, we have to you know, become like children. That we have to uh, um, depend on Krishna, but not in such a way that he becomes our order supplier. We have to do our work, we have to do our seva, whatever it may be. And uh, then from there, everything develops. Well, that's a spiritual technology. There's a verse in this regard, actually, coming to my mind. Machita sarva durgani. If you direct your consciousness towards me, as Krishna says, Machita, Machita, the, my consciousness towards you, sarva durgani, all difficulties that arise from Mother Durga, what is it? Adhyatmika, Adhibodhika, Adhidevika, all these three sufferings. Matpas, by my mercy, will be destroyed. So if you want to destroy the sufferings, this is the way to do, according to that verse. By my mercy, by Krishna's mercy, it happens. By own doing, we'll suffer forever. Even to become free from suffering is due to Krishna. Becoming Krishna con is due to Krishna. Haidas Thakur said in, what was it, in Hainam uh, Tintami, uh, he said, no one in this world is able to chant the holy name without distraction. There's one, one, one statement, without distraction, unless he has the mercy of the Supreme Personality of God. Right there, black and white. No one is able to chant perfectly unless he has the mercy of Krishna. So to that degree, we turn to Krishna, to that degree, this mercy is available to us. Not otherwise. I remember there was a yoga festival in Berlin one time, a huge festival in the, in the field, hundreds of tents. <clears throat> and I knew the top yogi who was there, and I talked with him, and I did walk with him, and uh, uh, so he said, I need to eat some food. I said, okay, go ahead. Where are you going to go? And he put me in a place where there were meat. I said, I eat meat. He said, yes, I eat meat. He said, I stopped many times. I know I shouldn't do it. But then again, I uh, fall back and again and again. So I, I told him that this, uh, I never found a problem to give up eating meat from one moment to another. He said, that means you have God's mercy. He said, I don't have that mercy. And so that was actually quite interesting that he said that, you know, that I have that mercy. By the mercy of Krishna, we can practice Krishna consciousness. By the mercy of Krishna, we can do and that. And he didn't have that mercy, he couldn't. And so Kamis and Jenny don't have the mercy of Krishna. And therefore, they cannot advance in Krishna consciousness. Because they, they think uh, the mercy that does come and fall on me, and I don't have to do anything. <coughs> it was a discussion in the, there was, was a Sri Sambadaya in the 17th century. Uh, how does God mercy, God's mercy manifests actually. And uh, uh, so they had this two options, like the, the cat is carrying its kitten from one place to another. The kitten doesn't have to do anything. Whereas the monkey, uh, the, the baby monkey holds onto the mother. And then by holding on to the mother, he jumps from one tree to another, by holding on to the mother. So there's activity there on the sides of, of uh, the monkey. And so they decide, okay, this is the way. We have to hold on to Krishna, and then Krishna will carry us. The idea of, Amma, take me away, will you carry me? Uh, that doesn't work, actually. It's a complete misunderstanding. We are not carried. We have to do our part, and then Krishna will help us. That is the idea. And all this is going on under the supervision of the Supreme Lord in form of the Super Soul.
the pure Dhaka Shraya Vishnu, who is in every atom, in everyone's heart, and from him alone comes knowledge, remembrance, and forgetfulness. That's the situation. So I want to stop here, and the time is almost over. Uh, do you have any questions to that? Come on. Light my fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, regarding the Lampard of the Temple President, who was this period? Oh, I didn't matter. You have to speak louder. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I. About the pres Temple President, who was this period because he had no money and he decided to give spend all the rest of the money for flowers for Madara. Yeah. Prabhupada said it was not enough, he had to make... And he gave this boy, he inherited a lot of money, right? Yeah. And he joined the High Krishna movement. And then uh, uh, some people say it was uh, Ayendra, but somebody else told me it was this Swami, you know, this one Swami, head like this, I forgot, Madhoya or something. Mm -hmm. No, Mahamantra. 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 Is that, that the, uh, Mahamantra. Yeah, 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 this one. And so he said to the temple president, I made a huge inheritance. I'm going to give all this money to Krishna, but I have only one little condition. It should be used for the Rasyatra. So there was a huge Rasyatra in New York. And when Prabhupada came, he saw the Raskas decorated with flowers up to the top and huge prasad and distributed left and right. and he said, where did you get all this money from? You know, he said there was this boy who inherited, a young boy, he just came to the temple and inherited a large amount of money from his parents, and he gave all the money. So Prabhupada said, that means he's very intelligent. He's very intelligent. He got the, to be able to do that, he had, he had some new karma, otherwise you can't do that. He had the mercy of Krishna to make this decision. Whereas other, in other times, you see huge people of enormous amount you know, like Steve Jobs, he came to the temple eating prasadam, he describes it, his lecture at Stanford University, he was not able to give any money. He said he died with 3.7 billion, I mean, less than a million would put us in, into, into, the, into the, out of the Red Sea in this temple, isn't it? One, two million, you know? Paul McCartney, why can't they give, why, why are they miserly? You have to have some good karma. You have to have some good karma. You have to, to be able to give, you have to get, you gave before. You cultivated the, the, the you switch from taking, taking, taking to the mood of giving, 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 because that's the mood of the, the of Rani. Modus of Rani is the way how people work in the spiritual world. Everything is based on giving. Nobody is, uh, is thinking of taking from Krishna. So the whole world, this material world is full of takers. You know, they want to exploit. They want to, whatever you have, they want, they want it. So one country is envious of another country that falls and it ruins the place because they want to take the oil or whatever is there. You know, it's all taking, taking, taking. Whole world history. You know, in, in the beginning, Adam and Eve, their children were, were Cain and Abel. And uh, so Cain, they got it upside down. Actually, Abel was, was worshipping God with fruits and flowers. Cain was uh, uh, offering a, a lamb. So according to the Bible, uh, God was pleased with the sacrifice of Cain, which is uh, inconceivable. Because the, the offer, offering of Abel was sattvic, whereas his was tamasic. You know, but uh, it's, uh, the scripture has been influenced by Tamaguna in many ways to glorify immediately. So what happens then, because he saw something he didn't have, and so he killed Cain right there. So the envy and violence has been at the heart of humanity ever since. Ever. You know, it's just part of it. Material life, people become envious of each other, fight with each other, take from each other, steal from each other. So what's our attitude? Our attitude should be if somebody steals from us, there was an example that Prabhupada was staying, uh, not Prabhupada, one disciple of Prabhupada was staying with Peter Gurmash, who was a famous uh, tennis 
champion if you were a school, tennis school in Hawaii. And uh, so he stayed with him and uh, then Peter Boas found out and he stole money from his, from his locker. And so he complained to Prabhupada. And Prabhupada said, uh, well, Peter, you must have done something. <laughs> he said, otherwise it is not possible. He said, don't be angry with him. He's just the instrument of your karma. And that's exactly what it is. And whatever happens to us, even bad things, we should understand that everything is under Krishna's control. And we, uh, he's there and present at every moment. And therefore, we should love what is, even in maybe difficult understanding it ultimately to be manifestations of Krishna's mercy. Somebody, suddenly somebody gave me a big piece of cake, it was delicious. Naturally, my soul, that is Krishna's mercy. Then again, I fall out of the shower and break my ribs. I, say, <coughs> I don't say that's Krishna's mercy. But it is Krishna's mercy. So whenever something good comes to us, we say Krishna's mercy. When there is something bad, we have a hard time to reconcile. This is our faith. That everything is Krishna's mercy. Because all these things, good or bad, are there to train us. To train us. Just like Prabhupada gives the example how you train a lion, a tiger, in the, in the circus. How to, how to do it. The tiger trainer comes and puts a huge feast in front of the tiger. And the tiger eats it. Then the trainer goes away for a month. The tiger doesn't know that the trainer, the same guy who fed, the guy who fed him, is away. Then the trainer comes again and feeds him a huge feast. Again, he makes him suffer for months. Again, back and forth, back and forth. So finally, the, the, the tiger is completely convinced, this is my friend, he will eat out of his hand, because you don't bite the hand that feeds you. Right? But he caused so much suffering to the tiger. But he doesn't know, the tiger doesn't know that that's him. The same person who feeds you, it's the same person who starves you. So in this way you train an animal, and in this way tra Krishna trains us. Sometimes he gives us good things, sometimes bad things. It's all Krishna is doing. Hi, Krishna. Does that make sense? Shila Prabhupada ki jai, Shila Prabhupada ki jai, Shila Prabhupada ki jai, Gopananda Hari Hari.